Welcome back. We're going to dive a little deeper into Plan and Present with this video and go down to a lesson level. So I'm going to choose my Plan and Present tab, open up whatever chapter I want to work on, and go to the lesson that I choose. So I went to Chapter 1, Lesson 1. From there, new file folders are open up, including those that have my Common Core State Standards and Practices. Launch the lesson. Let's look in there. That's where I will find focus, coherence, and rigor for the lesson level. Uh, on the right-hand side, under each one of these file folders, will be the resources that are available at point of use. So this first resource here is your five-minute check, check transparency. So those of us that have been teaching over 20 years that still really like those five-minute checks, know that they're, they're still there for you. Under Teach the Concept, you'll have the mathematical background, as well as in each and every example, Glencoe Math has given you guided questions, questions for those students approaching level, on level, and beyond level. Once again, the nice thing about each one of these file folders is when you open these up, right to the over here on the right hand column, you will find all the resources suggested in this particular part of the lesson. I'm looking at this lesson. I see an example here. Let's open this up. And these will be your step by steps for your examples found in your book. Another great way to aid in a teaching tool. The other nice thing about these step by step examples is maybe you have a student that missed your class or you anticipate that you know this student has uh, needs the extra help. So I can click on this gear and assign this resource. Now remember in week one we set up a class. So I can go to the class that I have set up. So I can name this assignment. I'm going to call it homework one. If I have any additional instructions I can do that as well. Uh, See, my resource is already attached here. I can select my due date, my start date, when it will expire. But the beauty is, is I can go down here and select exactly which student I want to assign it to, or the entire class. I hit Assign. And my options will be to go back to exactly where I was. Well, remember, I was in Plan and Present. So I can make another assignment, but I can hit this Go Back key, and this will take me directly back to my lesson that I was working on. So teach the concept. So a really nice tool just for on the spot assignments. Other key places that you'll notice past practice, I mean past teach, excuse me, will be your practice and apply. Uh, under practice and apply you'll see your levels of complexity as well as your differentiated homework options. From there we also have differentiated instructions for those on level, approaching, and beyond, and another entire folder dedicated to English language learners. So whenever you open up the EL folder, you'll see some key components here, and one of them is an EL guide. This is an excellent guide, and I make a joke, but whenever I think of my ELL students, many times I really think of ALL, because many, most of my students can really learn from uh, the hands-on kinesthetic activities that are found in this ELL guide. So it's another great activity. So once you open up one of these lessons from your ELL guide, it will be excellent activities to help your English language learners, but maybe some of your other students that are struggling with vocabulary or reading. The ELL guide is nice for you to use with any of your students and of course you will find suggestions here in the McGraw-Hill Education Glencoe Math lesson planning as well. Other blades are your assessment, which will include a ticket out, of, out the door and many times a foldable follow-up, as well as power-up for the Common Core test practice. A key new feature in the Glencoe Math 2015 is those pages in the student book will now be interactive for the students, so really allowing them to practice how they play on the test. And then, yes, we have our McGraw-Hill Education Dynamic Geometer Sketchpad activities at point of use. So if you're a user of Sketchpad, 
feel free to use those. Also keep in mind that Sketchpad has free 20-minute trials. It's an excellent way for you to increase the rigor in your classroom and allow your students to explore the concept in many different ways through Sketchpad. So basically what we've done here is we've looked at an entire lesson, all the different file folders that are available here for a lesson, but many times I get the question, does McGraw-Hill have a pre-made lesson presentation? And for each and every answer, uh, each and every lesson, the answer is yes. It's found at the very top here, launch presentation. And these are what we like to call our virtual lessons. They're key ways that you can go through. Here's your quick check. You'll also find key essential questions. And if you're a fan of the ticket out the door, that will be at the end of these. Another question that we are asked frequently is, so I really like your launch presentations, I love your presentations, but how can I customize them and make them mine? Right above the launch presentation, you see the customize tool. I'll click on customize. Now I do have to name this, so we'll name this lesson one, and perhaps your last name, or so you can identify the difference between them. From here, I can use my drop down menu, and this will take me directly to that customize lesson. And this will enable me to edit and delete any part of these file folders. But today I'm going to demonstrate how to customize the presentation. So now whenever I launch the presentation, there's an edit key here. And once I, have on the, once I get on the edit key, then these will get in a different mode where I can remove the slide, add an additional slide. Maybe I want to add a blank slide. And from that blank slide, I want to pull in a resource. I can pull in McGraw-Hill resources as well as other links to resources that are found um, that maybe I have created. So key things that you can do once you do that, hit present. It'll ask you if you want to save or discard your changes. So I'm going to go back up here and save my changes first, a nice little reminder. And then I hit present and I am ready to have my presentation in the key ways that I have it planned for me. So I hope you've enjoyed this little closer look at the inside of a individual lesson in the McGraw-Hill lesson planning. I encourage you to go in to teach the concept and assign a resource to a student. Uh, also scroll down to the um, additional activities for English language learners and look over what you'll find in the ELL guide and please go to the Quick Start Discussion Forum and discuss this on how you might use this in your classroom. Last but not least, give that customized lesson planning a try as well.